Hi, Olga. Hi. How are you? Great. Um, so we're here at Casual Connect Kiev. Um, tell me what you do. Okay, so first of all, I would like to say that uh, I'm so excited that Casual Connect is back to Kiev because it's my native city, I adore it, and it's really cool when a lot of uh, new people come to your city, um, understand how cool it is, how beautiful it is, so yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, what do we do? Um, I work at Playtomax, uh, we do HTML5 games, uh, we develop our own games, do outsourcing stuff, and uh, I'm also here at the conference together with my friend. He's an indie developer and he's uh, developing his own game. I'm helping him a bit. Do you saw the game, by the way, you can vote for it? Sure, I didn't vote yet, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Are you a gamer? Yeah, I am. Um, what kind of games do you play? Well, I'm a girl, so okay. I do play casual games. Yeah, I like um, different... I play match three, as everybody does. I'm not uh, ashamed of this. <laughs> Uh, but I do also like uh, playing um, board games. Mm -hmm. At the office we have like a huge collection of different board games and they are mostly uh, strategic ones like Civilization, Eclipse, uh, Rune Wars and so on and so forth. Uh, and uh, the boys in our team, they are like fans of board games and I became as well. So what we do often is at the lunch we play those games. Sometimes, of course, one um, like uh, one round can uh, be for for a week, like one game. But still, it's fun and it's also like communication between the people in your team. And it's a bit of team building. There, yeah, right. right. And uh, you just have an hour to not to think about the work, relax. Yeah. play some board That's games. a nice distraction and yeah. still, you know, you can get inspired, you know, sometimes from right. the games. It's cool for game developer, yeah. because he's always like, wow, that's, uh, in this game, that yeah, thing is done. Kind of kind of yeah, you can do like a twist, you know, sometimes something can pop up. So that's a very creative process, right? Can you call yourself a creative person? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, uh, from the childhood, I always like, was participating in some kind of uh, artistic uh, um, activities. I like danced for nine or ten years in a folk um, oh, really? yeah, nice. group. Um, I also adore theater, uh, and of course, my like the biggest passion after games is music. I have a band. I play drums. So yeah, I saw your post on Facebook. I'm like, I've got to come to one of her performances. Uh, uh, I hope we'll have uh, one concert here in Kiev soon. Nice. So what do you play? Um, it's a um, combination of pop, rock, uh, a little bit of fusion. Uh, jazz, we would like to call that we have some elements of jazz. Uh, it's not exactly like the cool jazz that I personally like, but we try to show in our music the things that we like in other bands and so on. Um, I've been playing there for like, well, four or five years already. Mm -hmm. When did you learn it? Um, when I graduated from school, uh, at school I always wanted to uh, like to go to guitar and I like asked my mom to bring me to those lessons, but she was like, you have dance, you have English courses and so on, so it's like you don't have time. It wasn't a priority. Yeah. yeah, and when I graduated I realized that I still love music and I would like to do something and uh, then I found that it was really interesting for me to play drums, uh, so I've chosen this. I cannot say that I'm like a good professional drummer, but uh, that's what brings me joy. That like when you have some rehearsal or concert, you, mm, you you are completely changing as a person. So you do not think about all the KPIs, yeah. all the budgets. Yeah. <laughs> you just um, just listen to the music. You try to give everything you can to this moment, and it's really good uh, like feeling. So yeah. you you completely somewhere out there. Interesting. Where do you get your inspiration from? Like what bands, what kind of music do you listen to? Um, 
I can say that I listen to lots of different musics. Uh, I love jazz. I love jazz drumming. It's uh, really cool. I'm not that good yet, but I'm preparing myself to this. <laughs> um, I also like different indie groups. Uh, lots of uh, cool music has appeared in Ukraine recently. Mm -hmm. A lot of new good uh, uh, stuff, and I know that uh, lots of those guys are actually also in gaming. So, for oh, example, how interesting. yeah, wow. the, the friend of mine who's uh, developing this Gisodi game, he's uh, actually a guitar player, and we are playing together in a band. I heard a lot about this game. There's like a good game. Yeah, there's a, there's a game designer from Rolling Games from Chernigiv. He's also a popular uh, like musician. Uh, he also plays music, and it's it's really fun when you meet each other at the like uh, completely different, different world, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and you're like you too. Yeah, <laughs> and lots of guys uh, play music like for fun or for even like they some of them earn money with it. So. Yeah, a, a lot of creative people are in the industry, and that's like the most amazing thing about it. So, and uh, as for the music, um, lots of different stuff, like uh, different British cool indie uh, uh, groups. Of course, popular ones like I don't know, Arctic Monkeys, mm -hmm. Interpol, and so on. It's cool to go to different uh, festivals as well, musical festivals. So I really like it. Yeah. You travel a lot for work, but if you travel, I don't know, if you go on vacation or you want to visit a country, or, you know, aside of work, mm -hmm. what are the typical destinations you'd go to? And another question is, what are, you know, the exotic places that you are dreaming of going one day? Okay, well, uh, as for the destination, um, I don't know why, but it, it happens so that each time I have like two, three days, I go to Berlin. Mm -hmm. It's the second favorite oh, city of mine. Berlin. Yeah, after Kiev, that's like number number one for me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I also learned a little bit German, so it's really cool when you go uh, come to the country or to the city and you understand what are people talking about in subway, for example. <laughs> so it's yeah, cool. Yeah, so typically it's Berlin. Um, as for the exotic places, um, hmm, I really want to go to the. Uh, Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. I like. I really wanted to do this the, the, the last year, but it didn't happen. But uh, I hope to make it in the upcoming year. We'll see. Yeah. Also Vietnam and uh, Peru. So th Peru. those are three countries that I would like to visit. Like those that are not so uh, easy to reach for us <laughs> in Kiev. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the interview, and I'm, I'm really happy you know, that we have an amazing community of people like you in like our you. industry. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we're so creative and you know, playing music and visiting countries, and I think uh, you know, this is a source of inspiration for each other as well. So thank you. Thank you.